Well, now to the latest edition of our series, Women Mean Business. We are very excited to have our next guest here with us today. Lori Ann Goldman was the driving force behind many successful brands that have become household names like Coca-Cola, Avon, North America, and Spanx. Now, in her latest role as president and CEO of Tupperware Brands, <laughs> she's helping to revive the iconic company that created job opportunities for women across the country. It's an iconic brand and a staple of American kitchens. For nearly 80 years, Tupperware has kept our food fresh, while Tupperware parties in the 1950s and 60s became a cultural phenomenon, which helped bring women into the workforce. The company has had a tougher time in recent years, but now has a new leader in Lori Ann Goldman. She's just months into her role as Tupperware CEO, but Goldman brings 30 years experience in business at instantly recognizable companies. For 10 years, she held senior leadership roles at the Coca-Cola Company before becoming the first CEO at Spanx, which she helped expand from a shapewear startup to a billion-dollar brand, even getting the product on the runway at New York Fashion Week. From there, she moved to CEO positions at Avon and Of Me Aesthetics. Now, though, she's getting the Tupperware party started. Lori Ann Goldman is a woman who means business. And we are lucky that Lori Ann Goldman is here in studio with us this morning. Yes. Lori, good morning. Thank you so good much. Good morning. We so appreciate you being here, Lori Ann. As I mentioned to you, a big Tupperware family. My Love aunt was that. the top performer in North America for really? a lot of my childhood. So I was so excited to get to talk to you and so excited to hear oh, what awesome. you're going to do with this iconic brand. Let's start with the fact that, as our viewers just heard in that piece there, you have held some serious roles at some <laughs> big companies that we are all very aware of. Spanx, Coca-Cola, all these yeah. different places. And I understand that one of the big things that you see as a thread here is female leadership, female empowerment. Yes. Tell me about that. Absolutely. You know, I uh, when you, you think about like companies like Avon and Spanx and, and Tupperware now, you know, it's really about entrepreneurship and, mm. you know, how do you be the best you? How do you, you know, go beyond your, your comfort zone? And I just feel like I'm a perfect leader for, you know, all the, the women at Tupperware that create this like chain of confidence mm. and help each other from one step to the next and to take risks and be the best they can be. Mm. I want to ask you about that chain of confidence <laughs> in just a minute. First, so let's start with, with this role, with, with the fact that you are now in this position. So yes. first, it's my understanding, and I just got to be honest, this kind of surprised me. I understand you're only the second female CEO in the 78 year that is history correct. of this company, yeah. which is just really interesting because I think so many people associate Tupperware as this thing that gave women financial freedom and yes. yet it hasn't been led by a woman very right. often. What do you make yeah. of that? Well, I think, you know, people pick leaders that they think are good fits for the company. And, you know, I have always had serendipity in my life as CEOs. You know, I wasn't recruited. Things would just kind of move along and um, I, you know, as a true believer CEO, just feel like the connection with this particular company and mm. the, the women is just a perfect fit for me. And it's you've been open in speaking with us in the lead up to this conversation yeah. about, you know, the company has faced some tough times. And that's part of the reason that you're here yeah. it is to try to turn that around. And I understand that you really see that as this potentially career defining opportunity, <laughs> even though, you know, it's it's not necessarily not risky. Yeah. What do you think and how do you plan to do that to make this change? Well, first of all, taking risks is just part of you know, part of the life and certainly part of, you know, a CEO's life. Um, I always feel like I'm in a pressure cooker. It's probably why my favorite product is the, the Tupperware pressure cooker. Um, <laughs> but I think in this particular case, you, you have this iconic brand mm. that, you know, you mentioned the 78 years, you know, it started for food conservation, for female empowerment. And that is like as relevant today as it was then. Um, you know, I think plans for taking the the company to continue to to grow is really kind of matching the you know that the brand with the consumers today and what they're mm -hmm. looking for. Um, we've been a direct selling company, and um, the landscape has changed, and we're looking to like love on our sellers, but also to make sure that we're in places that it's easy to get our products. 
And so I know like when there were the Tupperware parties, that, that chain of confidence, right, is, is women selling to other women in their homes. But what does that now look like? And how impactful do you think it can be for a woman who is looking for a way to make extra income? Yeah. Well, you know, we say that the people join Tupperware and they take it certainly as a business opportunity, but it's really also for engagement and community. Mm. And you hear the stories of our business leaders and that community is really really what draws them to, you know, to Tupperware. Um, the parties are still going on. We got the party started. And <laughs> I think, you know, after the pandemic, people were lonelier than yeah. ever. And so kind of coming together for that personal interaction is still very, you know, pre present and, and mm -hmm. real. Um, but we also do things on social and virtually and, you know, people sell all kinds of ways. A lot of um, influencing, affiliate. Um, it's it's really great to see how creative our, our sellers are and, you know, finding women that love our products. Absolutely. Do you have like a one sentence, we only have a few seconds left, but piece of advice for people who are women in business? Yeah, probably I would say never say I can't, mm. you know, because if you say I can't, what you're really saying is, you know, mm. I won't try I won't risk it. I won't even consider it. And when you say I can't, it you know keeps you from putting yourself that. in that uncomfortable position that's going to help you grow. I love it. Lorianne Goldman, thank you so much. <laughs> and congratulations on the position. We appreciate you coming to the studio. <laughs> I love it, Savannah. It was fun. So great to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.